I'm Chase. And I'm Timothy. And this is Customer Service. All right, we're back. Part two. I'm tired. We've done a lot of podcasting today. Yeah. But part two of Japan. Has Easy. Easy has to happen yeah we got it's plenty of it's, it's, stuff it's, that still went on yeah it's the meat it's the meat of the trip huh i mean we're, we're doing the same day so we have to think is there anything that would be a couple days later we are we are either today or a day away depending on when this comes out because i don't know uh from the eg launch so yeah if you haven't do it, it or friday yeah or get ready but let's let's sell these motherfuckers out yeah hit me up let me get you in discord if you're not in yet um if you have sizing advice sizing questions per our uh, recommendations on the eg collab pod we just put out a couple days ago best thing you can do is talk to one of us and we can work backwards based on other items you have in your closet other things you purchased from us i can tell you what you need what size you need to get pretty tell you what you need i got you this is ain't my first rodeo um beyond that what else might Lady White on? might arrive by then, but yeah, it's just restocked. Yes. No, no, no. There's some, oh, there's seasonal? Yep. Rug okay. BT, stuff like oh, that. Oh, yep. that'll be big. Um, yep. Or still should be online now. Yep. Just cop that up. Come I on. can't recommend Rug BTs enough, dude. These are like the short sleeve ones, too. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Money. Um, What else? I think at that point, our, uh, not our legacy, uh, story should be online should be in good shape check out the new arrivals and yeah pop after over to you cop the eg <laughs> after you join our our exclusive club of people who own the eg collab yes sir um so yeah so let's get back into it so we, we where we left s- off was basically before we'd started like into Working. work stuff yeah, yeah because it, that was before the week started so our first meeting that we had was just to meet up with our friends at Harrell, our new yes. friends at Harrell, because we have not met them in person. Before. Let's talk about what happened before. That. I know I'm gonna. I was gonna. T- <laughs> so <laughs> we we get to like the neighborhood a little bit early, and we're like, that's all right. We'll just kind of mill around here and just check it out. End up kind of walking past this like really great looking like coffee and juice shop that Whoa. was like very small, like well, just like on the side of the bro, just like a yeah. little a little window, a little shed inside of yeah, a, yeah, yeah. But they had this really interesting juice that was like. What was it? it was coriander, it was lime, cucumber, and coriander, cucumber, yeah. lime. I think that was it. Excellent. Excellent Timothy. little juice. Yeah. Like truly the best juice. It had it was pulpy, which I like. Yeah. The what I, the exact arrangement it was it was delicious. I could drink it every single day. Every single day. I thought it was I thought it was absolutely stellar. easy enough to make too, I think. Yeah. So I, I by the way, we talked about it. We are going to get a juicer now. We had that one. We tested it out. The reasons we stopped using it were more around the pain in the ass it is to clean. And also, it just it got to a point where, bro, it started to like, I told you, kind of almost got smoking. You know what I mean? Mm. It kind of... You do kind of have to watch them because if you let them run for too long, they're really... Yeah. yeah. So we're going to get another juicer. We're going to do that on Black Friday. So uh, please do hit me with recommendations. Or if you're able to get me uh, something at employee pricing right now, I would like to buy it right now. So send me recommendations for juicers or get me employee pricing on a juicer. Uh, but the things yeah. that you request are so <laughs> strange that you think that we Soup have. Soup recipes, <laughs> employee pricing on juicers. Um, Some of my work at Breville or, or the like. So we, th- during this, we were all just sitting and like chilling outside and it was another fucking scorcher too, humidity wise. But we're just hanging out, enjoying the juice. Have you tried to like take a picture of the juice? And I don't know. We're not really sure what happened, but just fucking like it's like she dropped a grenade in the juice. Like it was so violent, it sounded yeah. like falling down the stairs. Yeah, there was juice everywhere. Like on the bag that had our passports in it. Yeah. <laughs> on like in the bag, the on clothes, the bag. Yeah. All over the ground. We're also it's so quiet in this area that we're trying to like not, not draw make it a, di- it, yeah. a big deal. You, for some reason, offered to give Abby half the juices if that was the problem. <laughs> I said, Abs, hey, don't worry about it. I'll give you some of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like all over everything. So we had to go to like the convenience store next door and get like stuff to wipe it up. You and- know when, some- when something happens and you know the person just wants to just deal with it and not be fucked with? That was you and I just both basically just like not acknowledging it. And then Gia goes, I saw that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dead silent. Saw that. 
<laughs> staring directly at her. Uh, so it was just a, it so was a good little the, one, too. It was a rocky start to the yeah. day. And then we couldn't figure out where the place was because it yeah. was in like a small building. We couldn't mm-hmm. figure out how to get in there. But the meeting was great. It was really cool to meet up with the Harold team and designer and get to know him. And it was cool. Yeah. It had an immaculate vibe. You were really thinking about switching everything up to be more like him. Man, he is so <laughs> unbelievably cool. Just cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we go into this into this building. We head into a little studio workshop area. Worth noting, there's a beautiful persimmon tree beautiful. with almost ripe persimmons right at the bottom of the stairs. Beautiful little neighborhood. The building was done to the ninth. Loved it. Go in there. Um... Yeah, we just chat. We just talk about it. It wasn't really like to, to buy. No, no, no. It was just, to, just to chat, was just shake hands, and make friends. We each were gifted a couple of cool, really, really cool Harrell hats. Yeah, the that first, the first can't get. time we met with them via a Zoom mm-hmm. out of this like little office, the designer of Harrell had the sickest like little hat on that had that's that had the Harrell logo and really really small mm-hmm, in the middle. Mm-hmm. And I was like, at the end, I was like, hey, can we order those? Like, how do we get those? And he was like, oh, we don't we don't make them or anything. Then I just kept asking her. <laughs> I was like, hey, if there's any chance we can get those hats, like, we really want those yeah. hats. Even if I can just buy them off of you. Because I don't just see like them on the website the or anything. And they were like, oh, yeah, we didn't make them. We just like, well, they made some, but they didn't like, they didn't Sell end them. up going through with it or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, well, if we can just buy them off you. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you don't understand. We're not. <laughs> but no, there's nothing to buy. There's nothing. To... Anyway, they, they, I think because we asked enough, they, uh, they got the hats for us. So yeah, he goes. Very sick. Oh, grabs his car keys, runs downstairs, comes back up with yeah. the hats, and we are juiced, juiced yeah. to say the least about it. Yeah. So we each got two little hats. But again, it was really cool. Um, chatting with both of them, We're trying to get him to come visit us out here in Colorado. Yeah. He had on to, to set the scene. He had on for all the canoe club folks out there. Green HBT Harold fatigues beat 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 like worn uh, a white T-shirt tucked into him and then he had on you know veg tan like house slippers that were also beat you know like un- yeah. undoubtedly his that he that he wears on a daily basis. It's just the vibe was just like man you just couldn't be cooler you know what I mean. He's like very laid back too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah, just, just dope, dude. Like when you meet somebody and you're cool. like man. You just got a thing about you. That, yeah. That's that guy. Yeah. So he was cool. So we met with Harold. Um, felt good to further the relationship with the brand, to meet face-to-face and uh, express how much we love the product. Our customers are loving the product. Um, fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, without, like, you know, trying to pull back things too much. I mean, that's a lot of Japanese business. Is it's a lot of, like, meeting with people and just saying hello and mm-hmm. making sure the relationship's there and we're mm-hmm. all on the same team and mm-hmm, same page mm-hmm. and it's just kind of doing one of those but it was really it was nice just because we're such a huge fan of the brand yeah. so yeah so that was killer yeah. um what else did we do that day we um, had more meetings or no we didn't have any more meetings what we ended up doing was we got back to the hotel we gathered up the crew me you michelle abby gia got omu rice Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was really great. good. Remember, we were originally going to walk somewhere. We were going to do something else. We happened upon this spot that has, you know, a lot of the restaurants have the little yeah, figures little, yeah, yeah, out yeah. front. Yeah. Um, kind of piqued all of our interest. And we're like, let's cool just go plates. in here. Yeah. Cool plates. Um, Gia had a good time. It was really good. I got a, it was like, you know, like a hamburger patty, omu rice with like a, like a gravy on top almost. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was gas. Yeah, it was great. It was a fun little thing. And then when we went, oh, we went over. We tried to go to the. We tried to go to Waltz, but it was closed. Ah, that's that yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. So so we uh you know we went to Waltz that first time. We went to Tokyo this last time. Um, you ultimately did get back, but we we took a cab out there. Which, bro, we unless I'm mistaken, we walked when we were. We did. Yeah. That's a hike, man. We were in that cab for a minute. Yeah. But so we went out to Waltz. We were out in that neighborhood. It was closed on Monday. 
Um, so we walked over to the Onibus coffee shop, which was a perfect little, you know, there, there couldn't have been more than the size of this room. You know what yeah, I mean? Teeny, tiny. Little it was, window. It was cool. It was tucked on that cool alley. Yep. And there was this great little like kids park that was yep, like, that Gio yeah, was able to run around and play in. by the train. It was really cool. So we hung out in there. It was really a nice, pleasant experience. Yeah. It was it nice finally and started quiet. to cool down a little bit at that point too, yeah, which dude. was helpful. Yeah. Then we stopped by, now I'm going to. I was this, just going to say, we can air it very, out. Air it this out. place is very hyped in Japan. Like I've I've seen it on a lot of like you got to go do it things, and it's and it's a spot called I Am Donut. I'm Donut. Yep. And so we're like, oh, we got to check this place out. Yep. And the pastries look crazy, you know, mm-hmm. like online. It's right in the it's in the ground level of a of a train station in yeah. Nakamaguro. I believe so. And it's and it's supposed to be like I think primarily what they do is filled donuts. And to be fair, we didn't have any of those. Yeah, they maybe were we were the there we too late. There, yeah. So I'll, I'm I'm going to give it some fairness. That maybe we need to return and get something mm-hmm. different. But I the, wanted the filled one. I want the one that had the raspberry in it. Or whatever the stuff it was. that we had though was like. I'm not trying to throw shade. It was like it didn't taste like anything. Listen, I'm a I'm a golden retriever, and I think all things rule. And so, in the grand scheme of things, it was a donut, and it was fine. But that's as far as I would say. Yeah, you know, we yeah. got the matcha one and a chocolate one and a lemon one. The best, in my opinion, was the lemon one. Uh, you know, but again, this is probably the only negative thing that we'll say about any any food we had or anything there. It wasn't even it was negative. Just like it was like so neutral. Yeah, it was and so, I'm so neutral used to everything really there being like amazing that it was like yeah, yeah. it's kind of yeah. I don't know. So wasn't the juice wasn't worth the squeeze, but it was still it was kind of a cool area to be in. And then we took the train back, so it was all good. Took the train back. By the time we wrapped that up, we were we exhausted. Apologies, we're making each other. We do it to each other. Yeah. Um. We uh took the train back. Took a little bit of a break, and then I believe yes, you were like, "Listen, I'm done." Hey, let me mute my audio. I hope that doesn't fuck anything up. I don't know. It won't matter. Okay. Um, Um, you were done for the day. You said I'm staying in. You guys. Well, no, 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 that was wasn't that the night of the Capitol event? No, no, no. Tuesday was Capitol event. So oh, that's the night you guys went and got udon. Which, to be fair, you guys said you were getting something different. I don't remember what. And then you switched to the udon. I would have wanted to go to the udon, but I also like sometimes you know when it's like it's been a few days of us doing stuff every single day. I could tell Gia was sort of like needed to be yeah. done, and I just needed to like have a night where I wasn't yeah. doing something. No, totally, like, you know totally. I, mean? I was just feeling like. It's a lot of, not socializing, I don't really wouldn't call it socializing with you but guys, a, but you know, you're just like, I just like can't. It's a lot of plan figuring out. Yeah. All right, well, we got to call a cab. Where are we going? What's the address? Yeah. Somebody what wants time? to go back to the hotel. Somebody doesn't. Somebody wants to do exactly. this. And I was exactly. just like, I don't exactly. have the energy for this. this so you were like, listen, yeah. I'm going to get some pizza with G yeah. and we're going to take it easy. Me, Michelle, and Abby went out to, which will get a lot of love for the remainder of this episode, an udon spot down the street in Harajuku. That was called Menchi Rashi. I'm mm-hmm. probably saying like a dickhead. But they, got, they got a big Instagram follow. You said they stuff. did a the Sakai, Sakai collaboration. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, so we'll talk about it. Let's just talk about it because we we both went twice separately. I went twice. You went twice. Multiple different times mm-hmm. we went into that restaurant. I think Abby ended up going three times. Um, no, she went twice too. It's just we went on off times. On I, off times, I went on yeah. the middle. Okay, of okay. It was so unbelievably good bro yeah like so you you it's a little lineup outside you know probably a 10 15 minute wait both times i went probably similar for you mm-hmm. the restaurant probably seats 20 people Maybe. total yeah you know it's, it's like a little diner style so it's yeah. like and it's like very well kept too one of the times yeah. me abby and michan sat at a table the other time me you and michan sat at the bar and we could see them doing it from the outside in. You can see them rolling the dough, cutting in the cutting the noodles up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, boiling them, doing the whole one twos. Uh, Michelle and I have talked about it a million times since. It was absolutely stellar, unbelievably. Good. They have their own like in house sriracha or some some sort of. The, you guys were picked me up a bottle, and yep. you guys got a bottle. Um, I got the udon that was just like the straight up broth udon with two fried shrimps twice just it was like a perfect like uh, we talked about it on the pod the older we get like i shy away from things like buffalo chicken pizza or like i just want like the regular thing you know what <laughs> yeah, i'm saying yeah, and yeah, i think like, this is very the perfect iteration yeah. of like it's just broth noodle and a couple shrimps that's it dude. and then they're obviously famous for the carbonara that they do the yeah version. and yeah for me i had i need the soup you know and like i said i'm, I'm in i feel soup you phase. i did i have had both now 
because I had some of Abby's, like we yeah, split, yeah. and it was like, fuck, that is like its own thing. I'm sure the carbonara that's was like good. incredible. Yeah. I'm sure it was good. I mean, I ordered the broth both times, but it. Yeah. But I'll admit that I was like, fuck, should I, I maybe should have gotten that on my second round. But yeah, it was very good. Bro, we listen, ramen's good. We need to get udon popping over here. Yeah, udon's, Somebody get an udon udon's restaurant better. going. Udon's like, better. holy yeah. shit. Noodles were, the noodles were to perfection. Um, you and Michan both got the fried chicken. Mm-hmm. Little kind of Like really, really situation. light. You know what I mean? Man. Yeah. Um, I can't say enough good things. So again, if you find yourself in Tokyo, Menchi Rashi, it's in Harajuku. Shouldn't be yeah. hard to find. I recommend. You walk up, there's a little bit of a line. The line moves quickly and it's worth yeah. the wait. It's worth it. Yeah. Um, totally worth it. I, I it just blew my mind. Um, so Definitely that, the best thing we ate while we were there, I think. That, for that me. it'd be one of the two for me for sure. Yeah. Um, so that I mean that's about it. Unless you have anything else to add for Monday, we, we, it was really uh, did a couple one twos earlier on in the day, and then we all kind of took yeah, it easy. Really. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to yawn from that. Really? Yeah. It, well, I think I'm in my head about it now. Yeah. I'm all confused now because I think I got my days a little screwed. Well, here I I, I got it. If that wraps up Monday, the next day we did have the capital event. I don't know. That what was we... after our meeting. No, no. I'm meeting, right meeting came after the event. We did event Tuesday night. Meeting yeah. was Wednesday morning. I think we've got our day screwed up, but it doesn't matter. No one cares. Uh, so we went. So let's just we'll where let's just skip to capital event because I don't think I did anything Tuesday anyway. I don't remember if I don't know. I got in anything. Like I said, I think we I think we got our day screwed up a little bit here, but because uh, that would have been Monday for sure. No, no, Tuesday. Tuesday so was capital event. So Wednesday was our meeting then. Buying. I don't have them done by that. Again, nobody cares about this. So it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> so uh, tell tell them what the capital event was. Well, d- if I'm being fully transparent, I didn't really know what it was. No. When, it when was we very went there. I knew that there was an event that was associated with... I did, I did I wasn't sure with the collection, but I wasn't. Mm-hmm. it didn't wasn't clear that it was anything. Mm-hmm. It was sort of just like... We thought it might be a dinner based on like the venue and everything. Which it kind of was. Ish. Yeah. Um, but not like a sit down dinner, really. It wasn't like a, you know, that's what I thought. Maybe it was that, or maybe it was just like a party. You yep. know, I, I didn't know. I almost bailed on it, which I'm glad we didn't because we were like a little pressed for time that day, and it was like, well, I don't. Did, will anybody miss us if we're not? You know, but then it, but then it turned out to be this whole other thing, crazy, crazy which is crazy. I'm so glad that, that that it worked out. Well, also we we also were a little nervous. You yeah. know, not speaking Japanese and not really sure. Yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. So we thought we, well, we thought if this is like a social party, I'm not sure what we're gonna bring to the table here. Yeah, other than exactly. Two white guys standing in a corner. We we popped down to Seven Eleven and crushed a little a six ounce beer. Real yeah, quick. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this was probably the worst of the weather too because it was really oh, raining. Dude, yeah, pouring. Um, so we go to we go into this cafe. Can you tell me how you described it? Oh, uh, it looked like if uh, Nightmare for <laughs> Before Christmas Jack was Skellington. designed by Italians. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it was like it looked like a classic like Italian bistro, yeah. but it was like a little weird, wackier, uh, a little know, bit like more Tim Burton cast iron, uh, fucking entryways and railings that have weird things come up. It was it was a freaky ass spot. Yeah, it was really yeah aesthetically it was freaky, crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. It's like yeah, it's like if Olive Garden and Tim Burton collabed. Hundred um, percent. But it was uh, it was it's it was kind of a perfect setting for what this ended up being, which it was it was like a small private fashion show yes. for Capital's upcoming col- uh, you know collection, um, and the collection was I mean. It's intense, man. I mean, it kind of like we started kind of putting the pieces together mm-hmm. on like what everything was and what the symbolism was for. Um, their father yeah. passing away this year and it was they did not shy away from it you know no. what i mean it was very much like that was very much part of the collection um in no like morbid way or anything but it was definitely very directly related a you lot know? of the motifs and shit are directly yeah related yeah to that yeah and so they did a whole fashion show that was very fun uh hero came out and talked about his father after which was mm-hmm. you know really special to be a part of you know what i mean because yeah. that's obviously a you know an incredibly personal thing um and it was kind of intense if i'm being you know what i mean like it was like this is a very serious thing this is you know they're sharing all this information about you know something that's very personal to them that suddenly feels like i mean i just can't imagine 
I don't know, this maybe is too far, but like having a dad that was like a celebrity where like, you know, he means so much to so many people mm-hmm. beyond just you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I don't think that's most people's experience. I mean, maybe they've got a big group, friend group or something. But when you're like talking about people worldwide coming there to see the collection and capital yeah. being what it is and yeah. has become to then talk to those people about this incredibly personal thing, which probably feels totally different to, to you than, but everyone kind of feels like they have... I don't want to say ownership over someone's life, but like this person has meant so many different things to so mm-hmm, many different mm-hmm. people. And that that's gotta be a pretty wild experience. Um, and it was really cool, man. I mean, the collection was great. Um, Bro, seeing the yeah. stylings. Mm-hmm. Also, the whole thing was photographed and, and videoed. Yeah. So there will be a video in some, some capacity somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. Um, the, the stylings were uh, to the nines. Uh, in capital fashion you couldn't couldn't imagine more layering in cool ways yeah. and the accessories and like some of the bags and like it was just sick um the old fella with the white beard that's been modeling with them yeah. forever had the beads in his beard he's yeah so cool it, it was really cool and also um without naming any names we were alongside some other uh heavy hitters in the industry yeah, definitely some shared a, serious people so it was kind of cool to be considered in that well, it was same cool group to like meet some of those people afterwards yeah. and say hey yeah. to you know peers and things like that so it was yeah it was really it was really cool it ended up being like a very special like n- very memorable night yeah really crazy know? to have I, all right think of it this way think when you first hired me shop had been open for what like two months or so Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think that we were gonna go fucking fucking around in Japan, and go to a Capital Fashion Show? It, it just it didn't feel like mm-hmm. that was something that was in the cards, even. You know what I mean? Or if it did, it, well, and they also even have, haven't even had a you know fashion show since 2015. Yeah, or whatever. They yeah, said, I think, I think they mean 15 or 16. Yeah, yeah. So it, it was a, it was a cool thing to be a part of. Um, yeah, really great. So so glad we were invited and got to go and yeah, it all worked out. Um, it was it was really cool. Yeah, in- incredible, incredible. Yeah. What a time. Um, yeah, so like some food and stuff afterwards. And then that was, I mean, that was pretty much our night, you know, because that ended up going pretty late. And it was really fun. It was in a cool area of town. And yep. it was fun. Yeah. yeah. So really thankful. And, you know, it was like I said, it was like a very special one time thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't think we'll ever experience something like that again. Yeah. Um, then, the, so we can go kind of into the next day then. Yep. Where we did our capital buying, the actual buying, which was. We fun. went to the right building this time. Yeah, it was the same building as last still time. Still a risk. Still a little confusing. <laughs> Two different <laughs> things. Still, but we made the right choice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The collections, like you know, it it was really fun just because, to be honest with you, it's not that often that we see runway and then buy it kind of that close together. Yeah. Um. That certainly exists. And if we were a really, really, really big team, and had all, you know all this time where we could go do that, we we could go and do that in a lot of cases, or at least the ones the, the brands that we carry that do offer sure. runway, like Aura Lee or La Mer, things like that, Marnie. But all of those things at this point, especially since COVID, all show at very different times. So outside of just going out to these things just to do that, we don't always have. I mean, almost never have that experience, really. We mostly view collections and yep. line sheets and lookbooks or, you know what I mean? Or maybe you get to see it in a in a showroom and then you buy it. But it's rare. It's very rare that we see a fashion show. Then you go to a room and buy, this, buy the stuff that you saw on the show. So it was really cool to be able to do that in this scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think we got really lucky there. Um, I was really excited to like be able to take that information from like seeing it on body, exactly. seeing it styled, yeah. and then going over and making uh, yeah. purchases. Um, but the collection is excellent. I mean, I think it's one of their uh, so strong, better in a while. It's like it's almost. I don't mean this as like. I don't. I don't mean this in a bad way at all. It's it's really cohesive, and Capital isn't known for being cohesive. In mm-hmm. fact, I think it's almost like more irreverent is sort of like what they do. Yeah. Um. So this felt like it was more like one full idea seen all the way through yeah. in a couple different variations that felt very connected, um, which was great. Uh, I I really enjoyed seeing it that way. Isolating out like there's definitely like a lot of like inspiration of like you know old purdue pants and you know things like that that kind of like college era like Mm -hmm. hand drawn there's a lot of that kind of element which i think they did so well um really cool uses of like graphics and iconography and things like that um 
What else? What other call outs do you have? Great shoes, great bags, great really good shoes. Accessories. I was going to say the accessories yeah. that there's one bag in particular that I'm going to be spinning on. I don't need it because I don't think it'd be more convenient to travel with that than like a carry on with a roller, you know, mm-hmm. but I might try to make it work. Um, yeah, man. I mean, just, you know, it's like all really wearable too. Like, yeah, great uses of color. Yeah. 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 So that was, that was really fun and exciting. Um, going to the same building. I thought that was fun going to a place you'd been prior six months yeah. before. And then, you know, as far as like the work goes, if, if people want this information, you pretty much go and do that. And then we have to submit the order pretty quickly mm-hmm. and we're only in Japan for so much time. So we basically just went right back to the hotel and then spent we, a few we hours putting by it together. one more spot. Where else did we go? Oh, mm-hmm. which one is it? Don't say it. Where is it? We at? were in the basement. Remember we oh, okay. Downstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we 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 did. Uh, we took the time this trip to really uh, spend more time with some new brands that were that are upcoming. So we won't really like list those brands just because we don't technically know a hundred percent if we're going through with them. I mean, I think in mm-hmm. most cases we were extremely excited about the things that we saw. So yes. that's probably not true, but um, just because none of it's like fully all, no, all on the books in our, and they're, you know, they're a little they're They would be for, uh, you know, either spring or next fall. So um, a little ways down the road, but it was really cool. Needless to say, we're very excited about some new brands that that were that we're, that mm-hmm. we're going to bring in um really 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 cool and special stuff um kind of also all from different worlds if that makes sense totally. you know what i mean totally. so this w- this was one that was definitely a different gear than you know we always do but it's uh it was cool and it was really strong you know what i mean like the mm-hmm. stuff was great so that was fun um then we went back to the hotel worked. spent a couple hours yeah. riding the cap which took a full two two and a half hours yeah it takes a minute um a lot of shit to go through and then uh we went back out we went over to the orally flagship oh yeah that was fun to meet up with them yep yeah that was so really we met fun. up at the yep. orally flagship went downstairs Shout out to the downstairs room yep she had seen that we were in town and yeah yep and then she took us over to the office yeah. which was really cool we looked like the fucking blues brothers in this I thing know, because know, or orally their store is as beautiful as you'd imagine it being yeah. it's like perfectly it's capped it's pristine all japanese retail is incredible yeah this was a step above the norm yes um just gorgeous though i mean the the store was beautiful if you're ever in tokyo and want to check it out it's beautiful there's an upstairs downstairs both of them great so nice to see the collection that way so like cohesive and kind of like Mm -hmm. you know ideas with ideas if that makes sense so it was really cool to see it that way and then going over their office was pretty much the same way perfectly kept very organized everybody's dressed cool yeah not that we weren't dressed cool but like, like it was said, i mean it's just they're they're it's it's perfect there. everything's yeah. perfect yeah um and uh yeah it was a really it was cool to meet sit down with Alyssa and talk you know just we a lot of these brands we don't always see in person so it was really cool yeah to, just to just connect solidify the relationship yep. we're real people we love and support the brand etc yeah um so that was dope we popped we popped over saw the flagship saw the office the office was beautiful they had uh a large percentage of samples that were for spring summer yeah. we didn't we didn't like peruse through them but it's cool they to had see everything that, like it's not a huge team no it's not a huge team yeah and there was wild. a lot of product in that room yeah so um they're, they're doing it yeah yeah then we popped down to another store which will remain unnamed. Mm-hmm. Um, this was in the crazy part of town, right? Yeah, buddy. We're talking Bentley trucks parked next to Lamborghinis. So I mean, next these to were people with like there was like street parking a GTRS. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like a just fucking yeah. pull up. Might as well throw them the keys. Keep it running. Like yeah. like uh, Creed. Um, it was uh, it was it was very the t- the architecture in this part of town was beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was like perfectly kept. Every single store was like extremely high end but like stuff you've never heard of yeah um it was really cool i mean that was like the coolest part of tokyo up we've been to uh, yeah man i wish i wish we were really rich dude um that'd be, be where i would want to live if we had to live in tokyo 100 percent. yeah you know yeah I mean? yeah it was it was it was a really special area so we went and saw a couple uh stores there and met with another brand that's yes. like really exciting that i'm 
personally you've just you very yeah, excited you, about you're, you're I feel gonna like start. I, yeah it was one of those ones where you see it all together and you're like fuck i think i'm gonna go down a rabbit hole yeah. now um so that was really cool i'm really excited about that uh the store was gorgeous so cool um and then yeah what do we do after that uh you and i cabbed back to the hotel um that's the night you and i you and uh, we went and got udon yeah me you and michelle went and got yeah. udon again yeah um was my first stellar. time your second time yes yeah uh sat at the bar this time and then the three of us got back to the hotel and we crushed a beer from the little bar downstairs. Oh, Sat that's outside, right. chatted This was maybe for a my while. favorite day because like the weather had finally gotten mm-hmm. better. You know what I mean? It really broke halfway through the day and it was cool yeah. and easy. It just didn't feel like you were like wet the whole time yeah. and yeah. it didn't feel as awful to get around. And uh, it was it was a chiller day yep. for that reason. Yep. And we got some work done, which was good. Got a lot of work um, done. So yeah, we crushed yeah. a couple beers. My beer was delicious. It was uh, one of the ones they had on tap from that brand. Mm-hmm. And then, oh. He had great little glasses. Cute little glasses, mm-hmm. dude. And then uh, Abby and Gia got back. I made a quick run down to Family Mart. Picked up a bunch of the goods. At the end, I would like to chronicle all of the Family Mart I snacks figured, that I, I would like to <laughs> recommend. And then we all kind of decided again. Oh, we went by. We went and went over to oh, Freak Store. Yeah, we went to Freak Store. Hey, yeah. shout out the fella. I don't remember what his name is. We gotta we gotta send him some he, stuff. Yeah, he yeah. he had messaged us. He said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna send him some shit." You once found we get him his in address. there, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, th- these guys were super cool. Freak Store is really awesome. If you've never checked dope, it dope, out, dope, dope, they dope. do really cool collaborations. It's it's a really cool like it's a really cool store. You know, and yeah. to, to kind of paint the picture, they've got beams or slow or slow. There was some purple label in there. There was but they did Barbour collabs. Yeah, there was Nautica, Nautica Japan. Collapse, yeah. um, they have their own private label. Mm-hmm. Uh, m- plenty more. I'm 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 not gonna think of. Yeah. Um, they liked you and yeah. got to chatting, and you had told him, "Oh, we have a store this and that." And he was stoked. He came up, complimented my kit, which I was like, "Let's go, bro!" Like my, that's very flattering. Mm-hmm. Uh, a fellow who works in fashion in Japan, so I was very validated in that way. Mm-hmm. Freak store rules. Definitely pop in there. I should have bought that fucking barbore jacket, bro. I should have just bought it. Up. I went back the next day and yeah. popped more. Yeah. Um, but that was that was really, really cool. Uh mm-hmm. to just to yeah, great a little store. a little bit of like a industry nod. It's like yep. right, cool, man. We see what you're doing. That's really cool. Um Yeah, I like what I like what they have going on. It's like doesn't take itself too seriously. Great collaborations, definite point of view, mm-hmm. but feels like it's do men and women's too. Women's on the bottom yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah, men yeah, on yeah, top. Yep. Yeah. It's right, right right near ships, which is another cool store. Yep. yep. The yep. Margaret House store, the Parco, it's all yep. it was all right there. Yep. Really, really great close spot. to the hotel. Um Yeah, it was a fun day. Okay. That that was Thursday. Was Thursday. Uh I met up. I had lunch, and then we'll talk about what we did for work, but I met up with a buddy who is an OG style form guy that I've known for a long time through discords and shit. He took me for, me. he took Michelle and I for curry soup, which is like... Oh, nice. Yeah. It was so, so, so good. It's, it's from Hokkaido. Crushed that. But then you and I went and met with another brand. Do we want to... No. Okay. We're not going to say. No, but it's great. It, it is the it is the most excited I've been for a brand in a long time. Every single piece, the details had us just geeking. Every single thing we'd pull out, he'd say, oh, and then peep this, this, that, and the other. Bro, like, I left like, there being like, like, oh, Whoa. we love the buttons on this. He's like, yeah, those are done like this way. And then also you should check this detail. And we're like, no way. Yeah, like, yeah, it was like yeah. everything was just so The explanation on cool. the fabric or, yeah. you know, the bandana had to be printed I think we've said it before, but a, a lot of brands have a certain way of talking about the brand that yeah. that is great. You know what I mean? But not all, but sometimes it's like, it's a little, like you kind of extend it out a little bit to make it make more sense or whatever. Like this brand, every aspect of the style, fabric choice, details, like every single one is the hard way to do it yes. or the crazy way to do it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's like clothing made for clothing nerds. You yes. know what I mean? So, so cool. truly, truly, truly. Um, the shoes that were made to look almost like a Vans or, or like a deck shoe sort of mm-hmm. vibe that were leather through and through. 
yeah lasted you couldn't even tell like it was like yeah it was like so such an it was like it's like a unique looking shoe kind of but like it looks familiar at the same time and i need them bro we're yeah. gonna have to we're gonna have to figure out how to get them like immediately at least the shoes mm-hmm. if they got them for sale maybe we just he's our boy i'm sure we could figure it out yeah but yeah um, i mean that we it was so fun getting to meet with this brand it was like it's really exciting yeah so tru- I'm sorry we're not inspiring. sharing but you'll you'll see it soon enough i'm sure yeah but the, the silk detail talking about how it's woven and yeah crazy i mean it's like every single th- i mean they're using same factories are as are mez and louis vuitton and but you know what i mean like it's just no detail is like <laughs> no yeah no, some of the fabric no. choices were like these crazy things from like savile row and like it was it's really cool yeah so, so very exciting um, meeting that we had that day that was that was really 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 special and then uh i had udon part two that day you had oh, udon you part yep. two which you got, we already talked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Michan and I popped over to Nanamika. I wanted to go to the Nanamika store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to meet you guys, but we didn't end up meeting. But I went to a great coffee shop over there called Serene. Yeah. Really cool. Really? It's like, dude, it's like, the guy could barely move inside of this space. But it's like sandwiched between two other buildings. Yeah. And probably the best coffee i had i mean i loved everything else obviously all those but this yeah. was like a special yeah like it was it, you know he's doing his own thing you get it to go mm-hmm. nice yeah and we so i um hung out in that area that neighborhood um is right over by the cassette shop by waltz, that I, waltz. Yeah. it's this really cool uh uh garden um uh, no i can't think it's like statue garden over mm-hmm. there that i've mm-hmm. wanted to check mm-hmm. out just we've never had a ton of time so i walked into that and i hung out there for a little while and checked out this like you know kind of semi-famous statue garden sick um and uh then went to waltz which is you know it still remains my favorite region. you turn up in there thing. you get some stuff oh yeah nice what'd you get yeah yeah i don't know like 20 tapes though no. <laughs> yeah um so it's like a, we've talked about it before but it's a, it's a store in in uh, japan like in this small neighborhood really quiet neighborhood that's fully dedicated just to cassette tapes yep um and, and uh, it, it, they remembered me when I was in there, which was so cool because, you know, it's been a long time since yeah, I've been dude. in there. And um, it was really, I talked to them for a little bit and the space is just like perfectly curated. It's just exactly, it's again, like we talked about earlier, it's just so specific and niche to a very specific interest, mm-hmm. but then done at the absolute highest level it can mm-hmm. really be done at. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's 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 really... It's cool, man. It, it's uh, it it was it's I I love that space so much. Yeah. And I just like when people do something like that focused and at that level. Like yeah. it just like they're they're. I mean, the store is just so perfectly curated and so perfectly kept, and you know, it's in like the perfect neighborhood for what it is. And yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's great. So it was really fun to go back there. And yeah, yeah, crazy. They recognize you too. Yeah, um, sick. Yeah, not a Mika store. Uh, one of them was all purple label the whole thing top to bottom purple label and then we popped over to the women's nanamika michelle cop some shit there and then uh oh cover cord oh yeah you you guys went and checked out cover cord yeah we found it we were not in the right place bro wherever you and i were looking (sighs) was not right beautiful though like shout out to their staff just driving the boat you know what i mean it Mm. was crisp in there clean crazy to see and wander sitting next to Comalee sitting next to uh fucking orally hoka you know what i mean mm-hmm. all of those things living in the same space similar to like what we do you know what i yeah. mean um and then we got conveyor belt sushi and that more or less wrapped up our trip yeah that was fun yeah it was a good ending to the just did that and then we were ready to go home yeah you get to a point where you're like, all right, I'm, I've, I, I'm, I've seen it. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot. So, and then trip back was pretty mellow, luckily. Trip back was not bad at all, dude. Um, got you know a little bit of layover fatigue. You know, yeah. so we yeah, we yeah. sat in the airport for a little long because it's we, better than us rushing. Like rather than rushing, time, yeah. and then L.A. same thing. Better than rushing. Uh, I was fucking whooped though, bro. By the time we got home. Got the biggest Chipotle burrito I've ever had in my entire life. In fact, I'm going to text Michelle after we finish up with this and see if she'd be maybe down to get Chipotle tonight because I kind of want Double it. down. Um, but, uh, yeah, dude. Airport was great. I got um, – remember I got that shaver, the foil razor? Yeah. You're very excited about this. I It was the best thing I bought on the trip. 
I didn't buy much shit, but that was undoubtedly mm-hmm. the best thing I bought. It's a little Hitachi, Hitachi little foil razor. So any of you guys out there, you probably know about it. I'm a dumbass, and I don't. Mm-hmm. I'm not much of a consumer. I, I have bought the same thing forever, and it's just whatever fucking razor's cheapest at Target. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I'm I, I'm not blessed enough to be able to grow facial hair to where <laughs> if I. <laughs> <laughs> if I let it go for a couple of days, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Some people look cool. You got nice facial hair. You can you can develop a scruff, right? Mm-hmm. For me, was scruff the word? Yeah. For me, it just looks like I'm actually dirty, and not like in like a grungy way. I will say way. it is definitely it, it, it it's patchy. You didn't you just didn't. So, but, you know? but, but it's, but it's to the point now at 31 where I do have to shave it every couple of days yeah. or it gets dirty. You know what I'm saying? So what this does is basically if I do it every day or every two days, I love that you're describing this as if this is a new invention or something you could only get in Japan. Like, well, it's new. It's new this to is me around. I know. I know it as what barbers use to, to finish kind of, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It gets like a, it might as well be a skin shave. I love it, dude. I love it. I'm happy for I'm you. I'm through the <laughs> roof about it. I already got the little foil uh, replacements. And when this thing goes, I will just get another one. I love it. I'm so excited about it. I bought that in the airport. Saw it in the little souvenir shop. Said, I want that. Look at that. Um, I, I got to talk about the snacks I brought home. I got to talk about the best things from Family Mart. And then we All can right. wrap this up. Go ahead. What's the, what's, the, what's the best thing? Are you on udon? That's the best thing you ate when you were there? It's that or the curry soup that I had with my buddy in Michigan. Yeah. The, the udon's tough to beat. It's really like it was like a special place, and it's very cool. And yeah, yeah the was udon great. was the best. I know Michelle would say that was her favorite. Definitely mine. Too. Yeah, no, no um, doubt. just no absolutely doubt. stellar. Um, but then beyond that, Michelle and I did get quite a lot of shit to take home. We got a lot of candies. We went to that sh- that shop loft. You know, when we were in there, and we yep. got some curries to take home. Um, her and I also went ham and Family Mart many many a time. In terms of things that were great, I had family chicky. I had the kataage, the little chicken nuggets that you can get from them. I had like an onigiri that had a full seasoned boiled egg in it. Among the other onigiris, I had many egg salad sandwiches. Little peanut butter cream puffs. Remember those? Yeah, they're great. Great. I got you one of those strawberry that and margarine the pastries. That's the, yeah, that's the best one. That was, I wish that I knew about these the previous trips too. Next time we go, I'm logging 15. Easy, easy. At least 15. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know why. It's like, yeah, like so I'm pushing, but fine. <laughs> um, another thing that I thought was absolutely stellar. Those little C1000 drinks. It's a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. Mm-hmm. They come in a little, you know, little shot glass more or less. Mm-hmm love if i gave you this you'd be like i don't i don't do that i don't i don't believe in that shit or vitamin c i believe in you know that's something that i i've always believed in said a million times i think that that's a great thing to be into i just don't think that you need to have it exclusively with fucking orange juice that has a shitload of sugar but (laughs) i like i don't care what you do at this point i'm done (laughs) (laughs) i'm here if you need me you know i i I think i think but i think orange juice is the only valid uh Okay, we can't do this again, especially after you're talking about eating about 85 things that are made from pure, unadulterated white bread. (laughs) (laughs) That and And then also just rice. Yeah, just just starch, baby, carbs. Mm -hmm. Um, But all in all, man, it was a lot of fun. I was really happy to have Michelle with me. I thought that that, uh, it it was really fun to travel with her because her and I have never really gone Mm -hmm. out of the country or anything together. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took a lot of stress off have her help me navigate shit you know what i mean i would have been stressed to do the train by myself or something so Mm -hmm. feel really lucky and fortunate in that way it was obviously fun for abby and gia to come too. yeah watching gia do her thing was you loved it there loved it took to it immediately yeah she's been at home repeating random words to us Mm -hmm. and that she heard like on the train or something it's like man i feel like if she could be there for like a year she would be able to speak japanese oh dude yeah, because she just a sponge. Just takes um, right in, yeah. Yeah, she loved the family chicken. Ate about Hell yeah. two of those a day <laughs> at minimum. Loved onigiri. Regular rice balls. Just rice balls. She said, I want the rice ball that I already had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should understand where she's going. <laughs> I <could. do>. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah she, she loved it there, man. She took right to it. Yeah. She was super into it. She actually, when, you have, when we've asked her what her favorite thing is, she really liked, she went to the temple in Yoyogi Park. Mm. Um, 
She really loved it for some really? reason. Yeah. I don't know what it, what it was that she loved so much, but she loved it. I mean, it's like yeah. an impressive thing, you know? And yeah. I think she liked that you do the bowing and all mm-hmm, the clapping mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So I don't know. She was very into it. So hey. yeah. Good well, shit. That's what connected for her. So. Well, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Fortunate yeah, overall, to go very good game. trip. Certainly anything would have been an improvement, you know, outside of dying on the uh, – um, from the last one for me so it didn't take much but this was God. certainly better it felt if it, it was really fun it was like i felt like we were a little bit more exploratory than we've been in the past and i think it's probably because we had girls with us and yeah but it was great yeah overall overall great experience yeah you know what it, it was good to have michan and then abby and g respectively it got us out of our shells mm-hmm. it, it's really easy for you and i to we've been and we fucked around a little mm-hmm. bit you know what i mean but I'm by nature a pretty yeah. anxious and introverted person, so it'd be easy to lock myself away in the hotel room and take a bunch of naps. Yeah, fine but, with that, too. Just yeah. to be clear. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to each their own. But we are back. I'm so thankful. Yeah. It puts into perspective how awesome our job is, and I I love my daily life. I like, I like my commute. I like all my fucking plants in my house mm-hmm. and the little garden we keep and yeah, my the routines. Cats. And, yeah. Cat and the dog. My dog... You know, I very, I'm very, i very anxious about my dog because he can do a bite, mm-hmm. you know. We He'll dropped him bite. off at the boarding facility, took to the guy instantly, handed him the leash. Leon walks right on back with the fella. No problem. No problem. No no, nothing. Was totally on. We come to pick him up. He's all excited to see us, this and that. And, and two of the uh, dog carers, caregivers, who, you know, they work there, yeah, but they, they interact with the dogs. <laughs> they go, oh, my God. I don't think we've had the pleasure of meeting Leon before. Like, you know, he's so he's so fun and he's so sweet. You should definitely we'd love if you brought him back. And I was like, in my head, I was like, fun oh, and sweet is literally yeah. not something yeah. that I would call him. That's what well, people are always with Jeff. It'd be like, he I think he's just different. It's it's you know, it, the but. problem is it's it's me and Michelle, man. We 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 put our anxieties on him. He can feel that yeah. when he's free of protecting us and shit he's 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 less he's not feeding off of our energy just being himself i think he i think he had a good time i think it also it's different when they're not at their own house with their well i don't think it would have gone as swimmingly if if we had say a rover person or whatever come over he's gonna he'll die for that house you know what i mean he that's his job i think it's also a little bit of like as soon as you guys weren't there then He'll take what he can get. He's you know he's, I mean? he's a really smart dog, and he was yeah. able to. He's going to figure out how to get what he needs. And I think I think he, I think obviously he would have rather been at home with us because he I think he loves us. <laughs> but uh, I think he, he had a good time. And then obviously our cat was very excited. Our cat has been glued to us, bro. I woke up mm-hmm. in the middle of the night last night. He was sleeping in. Be- if, if our heads were this close, he was squeezed right in between. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Cats yeah. were excited to see you. Yeah. Well, the kitten is excited to see anybody <laughs> yeah. all the time because it's like she's just like a very nice cat. Like you, yeah. every time, no matter what she's doing, if you pick her up, she just starts purring as uh-huh, loud uh-huh. as she possibly can. Yeah. And she's very like social. Um, our other cat, my cat, really, yeah. it, uh, Frank, she is uh, generally sort of like does her own thing. You know what I mean? And then she'll come find me now and then. But she has been like... I think maybe also the kitten has loosened her up a little bit because mm-hmm. she was she's been very like social with us and like is everywhere and with us all yeah. the time sleeping yeah. in the bed with us the past couple of nights which wow. is kind of a rare, rarity for her. Um, I think she did miss you guys. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's she's yeah she's been stoked. She's like the Gia's back because Gia manhandles those two cats and <laughs> yeah. like they they let her do anything that she wants she'll walk back I'll, I'll be like walking standing somewhere in the house and she'll walk past carrying the one cat who's about as big as her and just walking past the cat doesn't you know <laughs> doesn't care lets her do whatever so they're that they're very excited yeah, yeah. So it's nice to be home i think that like you know like you know it's like a cliche thing but <clears throat> it's like half the reason to travel so that you can kind of miss home and then suddenly it's like a new thing to you and it doesn't you don't take it for granted love it yeah. so much so yeah. yeah uh to wrap it up i'm gonna lean into the waking up early thing and uh love my job happy to be here all right well i think it went as well as it could have and i think that we uh i think we did it we got two episodes out of the pod how much we got right this one like 50 minutes great yeah i think we already kind of did this up front um as far as like what's going on so i don't think we need to do any of that but nope yeah let's do uh oh you know what actually this week or next week maybe is uh we let's do it next week actually this will be the thursday episode 
spooky episode. Oh, we have one speak pipe waiting for us. It's only two minutes long, so I'm not sure how long it is. I'm a little honked off, though, because <laughs> so, <laughs> so many people had great, like, think, pe- multiple people texted me things. Yeah. Multiple people dropped shit in Discord, but then only one person is in the speak pipe. Let it be heard. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, I need permission that I can use the things that I was sent. Our boy Big B sent us a hauntingly chilling yeah. video. I haven't even watched it yet. I'm oh. saving it so we can I can Buddy. see it live it's like his description accompanying it brendan uh, brendan healy we have an episode with him so pop back and go listen his explanation the way he describes the girls in this clip he said the straight shooters he does not think that they would doctor this up or you know even if they did that's cool too even I'm, if they i'm did, good with every version even if that they exists. did yeah. it's so convincing yeah. and like legitimately like like legitimately scary yeah. so and i and i know he hasn't put it places because he doesn't want it to be bastardized more or less yeah we're not gonna put be, it anywhere i'll we're just not gonna look put it anywhere I'll describe what i'm looking at but yeah we'll 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 talk about it on the spooky okay so episode, we, we at least have two but i also know other people had stuff that they were telling us or like said so speak pipe put it in this put it's, it put it in that pipe baby it's uh i have it right here hold on okay get the get the it's speakpipe.com slash cs pod talk i'm gonna go ahead and drop it in the discord right now Drop it again next next thursday we're doing the spooky episode so it's time i think that'll be just just in time of the follow-up into halloween so we're looking good we are looking good we are looking great my friend let's uh let's sign off and let's uh let's go get it bopping what do you think yeah let's go do a little work sounds good all right peace out thank you for listening